Hey YouTube, I am gonna do a quick unboxing of a microscope I got recently, and I'm doing this for growing algae. It's a cheap microscope, it's one of the more popular ones on Amazon. Four and a half stars, 136 ratings, $95. The Swift Compound Monocular Microscope SW200DL 40X to 1000X magnification. So here we have the box, got some information, manual. I'll go over that in a minute. And within the box, it looks like it's all pretty nicely packed. We have the microscope itself. We have the power adapter, an extra eyepiece for a wide field 25X eyepiece, plastic cover for the microscope itself. So let's go ahead and take it out and see what it looks like. I believe you always want to carry it with two hands, one on the base and then one right here kind of on the bridge. Looks pretty nice, pretty well made for a hundred dollar microscope. The knobs all seem to function well. We have some plastic covering the eyepiece. Looks like that just comes off really easily. All right, this should come off nicely on the highest magnification. Has a little bit of, if you can, if you can see that, the um, lens itself retracts a few millimeters just in case you end up bumping up against your slide. Oh, that's one thing you gotta be careful of is this will slide right out if, you know, I doubt you'd ever be tipping your microscope upside down, but it does just slide out. Good action on these springs. We have different aperture settings for the light. The light is down here. Looks like there's another light here. Looks like there's two light settings. One is just the light from underneath, and then two is a light from up above. Doesn't look like I can turn both on. Um, I guess you wouldn't need to. Here on the side, I can kind of control the strength of that light. Let's see if it controls the other light as well. It does, very cool. So I can control with this knob, the light intensity of both bulbs. This does not come with slides. So since I'll be looking at algae, I bought a separate um, set of 10 pieces uh, cavity slides. So these should be deep well slides. Uh, they're one inch by three inches. Let's get something underneath this microscope. the one time I need a hair to fall out. There we go. All right, let's see what a hair looks like. I don't even know what a what the thickness is for the magnification. Let's see here. I wonder if I can take a picture with my phone. It's not super great. I was hoping for a little bit better than that. Maybe it's doable to start. Um... If I zoom in a little bit, it's just really shaky, as you can see. Why don't we do something else? Might do blood. Is that weird? I don't think it's that weird. I have little alcohol prep pads that I was gonna use for my algae, so might as well use that. All in the name of science. What was I gonna do? I'm gonna cut myself. <laughs> that sounds so weird. I have my little pin pricker, little needle, sewing needle, lighter. And a little alcohol, which right here. Needles clean, fingers clean. Let's see what we can do here. That took way too long. Let's take a look at this here. All right, so we got the blood, the blood on the slide. We are at the lowest magnification. Let's see what it looks like. Cool. The cool thing about the red blood cell is the size of it should be pretty similar to Chlorella vulgaris. Actually, it's gonna be a little bit bigger. Chlorella vulgaris um, cell size is right around one micron. 
Um, that was one difficult thing about picking up, finding a mesh or a sieve to harvest it. Um, you really need to get something tiny. Even a lot of people say even one micron will not cut it. All right, everyone. Well, that's a wrap. We only looked at two things here, but good enough for me. I'm very happy with this. Um, I'm looking at two different types of algae with this uh, intro microscope. It's going to be more than enough. It was under $100. To be honest, I'm just excited to start looking at shit again underneath the microscope. I think we get so used to seeing things on such a large level, you forget about the composition and the beauty of science behind the, the structure of things. So it's kind of cool just to pick something up and be like, huh, I want to look at it uh, under a microscope. <laughs> so. Anyway, maybe that's just me. Maybe you share that with me too. This is not a channel about microscope reviews. This is just one part of growing algae in-house, growing and harvesting algae um, for whatever you want. But basically this is going to allow you to take a look at your end product and see if there's any contamination to it. See if you have a nice pure strain of uh, spirulina or chlorella or whatever kind of algae you're looking to grow. That's my first review. Um, I'm not gonna be doing a lot of these. I just wanted to go through some of the things that I have. Um, hopefully you found that helpful. And uh, let me know in the comments below if you have any questions about this or growing algae. I'm very much starting out with all of this. So I'm gonna try to document whatever I can, show my process, show my learnings, and hopefully I'll have some pretty cool algae in a little bit. All right, see you guys.